Hello everyone, uh, this is Angela from Land Central and today I want to chat about homeowners associations. We have a lot of properties here at St. Land Central and some of them belong to an HOA. So what is an HOA? So HOA stands for Home Owners Association, which is an organization um, in a subdivision, a planned community, or a condominium that makes and enforces rules for the properties and their residences. Those who purchase property within an HOA's jurisdiction automatically become a member and are required to pay dues known as HOA fees. The association started as a nonprofit organization created by the developer of a community led by a leadership team or a board of directors. Sometimes instead of an HOA, um, you have a POA, which is Property Owners Association. Um, a POA is not limited to the type of building or property owner that it governs, whereas an HOA is about a community of the same type of properties. A POA is usually a mix of property types, including single family residences or businesses. Um, it, it, there isn't much difference. So the HOA is subject to its state's property laws, but they also have their own set of governing documents. The documents can include bylaws, rules and regulations, or CCNRs, which um, stands for covenants, conditions, and restrictions. The dues are an assessment determined by the HOA that can go towards the upkeep and maintenance of the community and possible buildings. So we have customers ask um, if the lot is vacant, do they still have to pay HOA dues? Um, it depends on the HOA's governing documents, but most times the answer is yes. So how do you know if purchasing a property in an HOA is right for you. Um, it's all based on your lifestyle and your wants. Uh, some of our customers like the idea of an HOA and some of them absolutely do not. <laughs> so what are some pros and cons of finding a property in an HOA or, or POA? Um, we're gonna go over some goods and bads of belonging to an HOA. So now we're going to go over some pros and cons of having an HOA. Um, this hopefully will help you make an informed decision on what is right for you. So number one is the Homeowners Association sets the standards for your home or property. So the HOA can determine the standards for the types or appearance of the home you want, the color of the home, where you park your car, the repairs on your house, or the type of landscaping allowed is just to name a few. So regarding vacant land, it can also determine what you can or can't do on your property, just like zoning ordinances. So this most times is seen as a con. However, I've had customers who like that. Um, number two is the HOA manages common areas in your neighborhood. So the HOA handles the upkeep of common areas or any shared amenities or recreational areas um, that may be included in the subdivision or neighborhood, such as swimming pools, tennis courts, playgrounds, um, clubhouse, that type of thing. Um, this is seen as a pro. So number three, additions reoccurring or additional reoccurring HOA fees and dues. So if you purchase a property that has an HOA, membership is mandatory. So including the monthly or annual dues. The amount of the dues will be determined on what the association is legally, respons legally responsible for. Um, I've seen them vary annually from $25 to $3,200 annually. Sometimes the dues are only used for road maintenance and other times it includes things like sewer, water, fire, garbage, um, depends on how in-depth that community is. Um, this, it this means additional costs, but on the flip side, it means that some of the maintenance costs are shared throughout all the members of the HOA. We've also seen some HOAs where you don't pay dues um, on your property until the dwelling has been built. So this is usually seen as a con um, because, hey, <laughs> it's more money, right? <laughs> 
Um, number four, an HOA keeps uniformity and will mediate on your behalf. So because of the covenants that the HOA's governing documents require, and H the HOA normally makes sure that the neighborhood is kept to acceptable standards. This keeps the riffraff out. Um, it means that they may determine where you park, or but your next door neighbor doesn't have a bunch of broke down cars in their lawn. So an HOA can also reduce the conflicts and unpleasant exchanges. So if your neighbors haven't cut their lawn in several weeks or decide to turn their driveway into an auto repair shop, you don't have to confront them because the HOA will. When anyone is engaged in an activity that violates the CCNRs, the HOA sends a friendly notice, or maybe not so friendly, depending on your HOA, and follows up with a stern warning. So this is normally considered a pro. Number five. An HOA can have a lot of red, of red tape or be overbearing. Anything you want to do on your house or property needs to be approved by the HOA. Submitting house additions, accessory structures, or putting up a basketball hoop um, to the HOA can get downright tedious sometimes. And remember those CCNRs, uh, while they come in handy for preventing round, rowdy neighbors from moving in, they also might be off-putting for homeowners who like their autonomy. So this is seen as a con. So um, those are just some goods and some bads of uh, what HOAs are good for or what they're not good for. It's kind of subjective on you yourself and what you like. Um, I hope this gives you an idea of what a homeowners association or a properties owner association is. And when you are looking at purchasing your dream property, you feel like you can make a more informed decision. So whether you love or hate the idea of belonging to an HOA, uh, now you know. A helpful tool on our website um, at www.landcentral.com is when you use the advanced search options in our search for land, you can actually click HOA preference and you can choose if you want all properties properties without HOAs or only properties with HOAs. So whatever your preference is, we hope you enjoy this video. Um, please feel free to share or subscribe. And until next time, have a great day and check out our ever-changing properties here at Land Central. Bye!